Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mole Trap, and I am doing a game from the OSL. Yes, the OSL round of 16 has begun, and this is going to be there. This is actually a cool intro. The first time I've seen this, they've got all the uh, guys in the round of 16 kind of walking around in suits, looking slick, looking suave. Except for Fantasy, he's too nerdy. He could never look suave. He just looks awkward in a suit. Um. Anyway. Oh man, Flash and Stork talking on the escalator, yeah, and someone jumping around. This is awesome. I like this intro a lot. And they're walking, of course, oh duh, they're in an airport. Korean Air OSL, good stuff. Anyway, um, this is going to be a game between Effort and 4GG, and I've decided to do this game because, um, well, because I don't really care much about either player. Um, so I decided to do them playing a game and commentate it and see what happens. I'm going to try and do some other OSL stuff as well and uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, for GG on the right, Effort on the left and <clears throat> Effort is a very very solid player. For GG, I'm not sure how he got into the OSL round of 16 to be completely honest. Sure, he has an MSL title, but uh, he's just not been playing that well lately, um, as in, like, since his MSL title, he kind of fell off the map. He's one of those one-hit wonders that gets a Star League title and then almost never places again. But somehow he's managed to get into round 16 again. I, I admittedly haven't been following him that well, so maybe he's gotten decent again. But I don't think he's going to be any match for Effort, who is a very, very strong player. One of the top few Zerg players in the scene right now. Um, and probably with, um, with the... <laughs> with the failure of Failsu and Faildong, Effort is one of the players who could go all the way in the OSL um, and uh, at least get to you know the top few there. Um, yeah, there's not a, the the big competitors are are not in there anymore, so it's just between a few of the uh, remaining ones like Flash, Stork, Effort, um, maybe Cal. Uh, those are the people who I'm thinking of are probably going to be. Um, you know the top contenders anyways we got effort starting off as the orange zerg in the bottom left hand corner and for gg is going to start off as the blue terran in the top left hand corner and uh this map is lost temple by the way um very old school map it's got uh eight bases all around the outside of the map and uh little choke points as well and the minerals have been stacked so that you, uh, there's 50 mineral patches, or 50,000 minerals per patch or something like that. So anyway, we got, um, for GG, just go ahead and making his probes, doing his normal thing. He's probably going to put down a pile on here pretty quick. And um, Effort, let's just go ahead and, and uh, going to go for a normal build as well. He's made that Overlord right away. He's probably going to go for a 12 full build or something like that. And we see some signs. i got to learn some Korean, man. Oh man, 10k1! Woo! That's a lot of money. Actually, it's not that much. Um, Star League! Um, Effort is scouting the correct direction at the very least, so he's going to be able to get some scouting information on for GG pretty quickly. And uh, it does look like we have an Overlord there uh, in the works. Those are some eyes there, man. Uh, I thought Jadong was the one with the, the piercing eyes, stereotypically. Uh, anyway. So yeah, Effort definitely going for, it looks like a 12 hatch build. He's sending out that drone to get the second hatchery, and he's going to send some stuff up north pretty soon. Um, and that woman has no care at all for the fact that she's on camera. She's like, whatevs. Um, for GG getting his one racks up, and then a refinery as well, um, he's going to get that assimilator going and start mining some wood and, uh, and maybe some gold after that. He's going to just start building um, probably... Uh, grunts and troll axemen after that point. I'm not exactly sure. And then Effort is going to be able to counter, though, probably, since he's got this 12 hatch build going. He's going to have a good economy going. He's going to be able to start pumping out zealots very quickly and um, probably counter for Gigi's build pretty well. But uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. He could go for um, a more longer term build as well. No, he's going for a, uh, a spawning pool. So he is going to be um, going for probably an early lair. And he's going to be making roaches pretty soon. So uh, a very strong counter to uh, the Grunt build that uh, that 4 is going for. He's now putting down the factory as well. And we see a probe running up to scout. The Marines are going to be coming down. And it's going to be able to block it on that ramp there. So um, no scout at all for effort ever. Is not going to be able to get up that ramp. Um, that Marauder is going to 
just gun it down before it can get up there, and it looks like it might chase him away. Um, anyway, so uh, <clears throat> looks like we are going to see fire bats after all because we're seeing um, just uh, the uh, we're seeing a third. Uh, hatchery out of effort there. He's making that third hatchery there. So uh, we are going to see him do that kind of standard build there, going for normal stuff. And a second, a second starport going down for for Gigi. So he is really, really, really investing in uh, this undead uh, ghoul build. It's really kind of amazing to see him going for this right now. Um, effort now putting some guys on lumber right there. So he's going to be able to get, start getting lumber in as well. Probably going to trade that for sheep or maybe for ore. And uh, build a city on the port as well, so we can uh, trade in three for one his his resources. If he's got too many resources, he can trade in three for one uh, that way. And um, then he's probably going to attack Kanchatka, is what I'm thinking, because for Gigi doesn't have any defenses there. He it's a really good map um, for attacking from that side there. Kamchatka is completely open, and uh, you can just come in straight from Alaska and just just destroy. Uh, all the defenses around Kamchatka there, and it's hard for them to get rigid, uh, vision because of that ridge. So um, for Gigi is going to have a really really tough time there. Um, he may have to get um, goblin sappers in the mix as well eventually in order to counter off, counteract that build there. He's got that overlord just out of range, just out of sight range. Oh, the Zergling's going to sneak in. Is he going to be able to get in? No, gets picked off. He does not see the Hellion coming out there. Um, and he's gonna, the Hellion's just gonna run right by and start attacking, but there is a, uh, spine crawler there, so it's not gonna work out for him. And, um, anyway, so for Gigi now moving down here, he's got his forces put together, he's got that Hellion there, he's moving down with the Thor, he's got, um, all kinds of forces moving out here, and I'm not sure if Effort expected this, he just has the single spine crawler at the front of his door. Um, he really needs to start getting out, um, you know, some hotels on his properties. If, if and if he can get Boardwalk, he's got Park Place already. If he can get Boardwalk out in time, then he'll really, really start be able to being able to collect fees really hardcore um, when Forgigi lands on his properties. And that's really what he needs to start doing is getting monop monopolies on different colors. Forgigi already has a monopoly on blue, and he's running in with his Hellions. He's killing tons of. Um, Tons of drones there, and now the uh, the tanks are going to be able to move in a little bit closer and do some more damage. And effort is really actually on the ropes here. It looks like he did not expect this to be um, such a rush. And for Gigi is now going to push him back directly into his base. He's busting out with these lurkers here, um, attacking for uh, for all he's worth. But he's lost so many. He's lost an entire office of sheep there. Um, he really needs to be careful. Um, he needs to go out and maybe find some fruit to pick or something like that. If he's hunted out all the sheep, um, he needs to go find some fruit to pick uh, so that he can advance to the next age. And now he's cooing out here with these roaches, manages to pick off the Thor in the meantime. And, uh, oh, but, oh, the spine crawler goes down. The spine crawler go down. So Effort is really in trouble now. He's just barely trying to fight off uh, these forces out there. And uh, the big Bertha is really going to start coming in handy very soon if, if he, if, um, if he can get another one out there, um, but it looks as if Effort has been able to kill them off one by one every single time. And uh, but Effort has been had has had to retreat to just that one base, unfortunately. And um, he's just look at this. <laughs> these these Hellions are just doing so much damage, um, picking off so many units, including uh, including those lurkers there. And this is just really, really not looking good at all. There's still so it's basically just one base versus one base right now. Um, so it's really uh, that's going to be a better position for um, for an orc player uh, such as for Gigi. He's going to be in a really, really good spot there. And oh man, man it gets killed before it can even pop out. I don't even know what that was, but it just died before it was born. It's so sad. Um, and oh man, burrowed banglings being put down in the meantime. That is going to seal the deal. Unless he can manage to drag it in. Nice drag, but oh, effort shaking his head. Um, he does not look happy about this turn of events at all. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to fight this off. Um, it looks like he is probably going to go down in this game. Um, that was a strange place for that uh, Baneling to go after, but he runs in. He's just going to try and pick it off. He Oh, he manages to pick it off, but the Thors are unseized, and they're just going to be able to pick off the Hydra. He can't get in between them, and it's going to start shelling that next base there. Uh, he still has two, um, two production facilities there. 
but it's just not not going to happen. Oh my gosh, he just got sniped in the face right there. Um, sniped in the face with an op, and oh man, the op goes off right right on those uh, larva there, and the, <laughs> and uh, he hit him right in the chest, so it took him out in one hit. And GG coming from effort, effort going down to a very 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 strong showing by 4GG. Um, a nice little rush there. Uh, not the most clever of play. Uh, well, I, it was a little bit clever, a little bit cool there, but I don't know. It doesn't prove anything. I'm not sure that uh, for Gigi has shown that he has what it takes to get too far in this tournament, but unfortunately for Effort, uh, one of my uh, picks to be a favorite in this tournament has taken an early loss in this, the group stage of the OSL round of 16. He can still fight his way back into it, though, but it will be difficult. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Thanks for watching. Gigi. Take care, and April Fools.